so how to calculate a discrete dft of a discrete time signal so dft of x of n i am writing x of k in, i am representing dft in capital this is capital this is capital x of k this is small x of k the time signal we have to represent it in small letter dft you have to represent it in capital letter so what is the formula to calculate the dft sigma n is equals to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power e power minus j Two pi k so this is the formula to calculate the DFT of a discrete time signal so where k varies from the value of k is the range of k is 0 less than or equals to k less than or equals to n minus 1 the range of k is between 0 to n minus 1 so where capital n is the n point that means n point dft the dft signal is having n points the number of points are n so this is the definition the formula to calculate the dft is the n point dft is sigma j sigma n is equals to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k by capital n where k varies from 0 to n minus 1 okay so similarly how to calculate idft inverse discrete fourier transform So IDFT inverse discrete Fourier transform. So how to inverse discrete Fourier transform means they will give x of k. The x of k they will give. I have to find out x of n. That means inverse. So a frequency response they will give, and I have to find out the time domain signal. DFT is time domain signal they will give, and I am finding the frequency domain signal. So inverse is just reverse. So they will give frequency domain signal and I have to calculate the time domain signal. So x of n is equals to, so x of n I am finding the time domain signal. x of n is equals to, this I am writing as IDFT. IDFT of x of k. So this is inverse discrete Fourier transform. So uh, inverse means the time domain signal will come. So the x of k frequency signal they will give. So the 1 by n, the formula to calculate the IDFT, 1 by n sigma k is equals to 0 to n minus 1. x of k so we have to remember both these formulas since in all the properties so like Laplace transform I already discussed Laplace transform in uh, network analysis so like uh, Laplace transform of a time domain signal or continuous time signal is in comes in s domain so similar to that uh, how you remember the Laplace transform formula so in the same way DFT IDFT you have to remember and so we discussed Laplace transform properties also like that similarly here also properties will be there so that properties we are using some problems also e power j 2 pi n k
by capital N. So here the N varies from in the previous one DFT K varies from 0 to N minus 1. Here the small n varies from 0 to n minus 1. So this is the formulas to calculate the IDFT and DFT. So what is that? So the length of, uh, we'll see some problems based on this DFT and IDFT. Then we'll go to the properties of DFT. So these formulas you have to remember here k is equal to 0. So you will see some problems. So I am calculating first our DFT. So find the DFT of a sequence. So the sequence they given, the discrete time signal sequence is given. So x of n is given. x of n is equal to 1 comma 1 comma 0 comma 0. So I have to calculate DFT of x of n. So DFT of x of n, so the discrete time signal is given. So I have to calculate the discrete Fourier transform of a given time domain signal. So DFT of x of n is equal to You can represent as x of k, capital X of k. Just now I given formula. So DFT of x of n is equal to x of k is DFT of x of n. Sigma n is equal to 0 to n minus 1. So x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k by n. Where k varies from 0 to n minus 1. So use that formula and calculate this one. So I am writing the formula again x of k is equals to, so this I have to calculate. The time domain signal is given, discrete time domain signal is given. I have to calculate frequency, frequency domain signal, that is DFT, discrete Fourier transform. So x of k is equals to, so sigma n is equals to, 0 to n minus 1, 0 to n minus 1, x of n. So I am writing now the formula in little different way. So x of k is equals to sigma n is equals 0 to n minus 1, x of n. Up to this I written the same thing. Now I am using the frequency. So uh, omega capital N, W N or omega. So where W N is equal to e raised to minus j, e power minus j, two pi by n. So if you substitute W N, same thing only will come the previous formula only. So you can I can write the formula in this way also. E power minus J 2 pi by N. Okay. So now I have to calculate the DFT. So since see the given sequence, the length of the given sequence, how what is the length of the given sequence? 4. So n is equals to, since the n value is not given in the problem. So if in the problem the n value is not given, so whatever the sequence length, so you have to take the length of the sequence as n. So in this, what is the problem? Find the DFT of a sequence x of n is equal to 1 comma 1 comma 0 comma 0. So n, uh, the point is not given. So I am taking, since it is not given, the length of the sequence only n I am considering. So in, in whichever the problem, if n is not mentioned means the length of the signal only you take the n value, capital N value. So now I have to find out the DFT. So what is the K range here? 
the k range here 0 less than or equals to k check the formula k range is 0 less than or equals to k less than or equals to n minus 1 what is n here 4 so 0 to 3 the k range is 0 to 3 ok so that means I have to calculate x of 0 capital x of 0 capital x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 DFT means uh, that one. So first I am calculating x of 0. That means I am substituting k is equals to 0 in the above expression. So k is equals to 0. So n is equals to 4. Capital N is equals to 4. If I substitute in the summation, so sigma n is equals to 0 to 4 minus 1, which is 3. And small x of n. So what is the k value? k value is 0. So Wn whole power 0 into something is 0. So what is w power, Wn whole power 0? Uh, 1. 1 sir. Yeah, 1. So this is 1. Wn whole power 0 is 1. So just sigma summation n is equals to 0 to 3 x of n. So what is this value? X of n. Uh -huh, that all will be just expand the summation. Uh, one. So n is equals to 0, x of 0. What is the x of 0 value? So here the, this is n is equals to 0. If nothing is mentioned means n is 0. Arrow is not mentioned means the starting point means n is 0. So x of 0 is 1 from the given signal x of 0 is 1 right x of 1 is 1 x of 1 is 1 and x of 2 what is the value 0 so x of 3 is 0 so if you substitute x of 0 sigma if you expand it x of 0 plus x of 1 plus x of 2 plus x of 3 how what is the value you will get so capital X of 0 is 2. So in the same way calculate remaining 1. That is uh, substitute now k is equals to 1. So k is equals to 1 you are substituting and this one is same thing. So sigma n is equals to 0 to 3 x of n. So since now k is 1, Wn whole power k into n. So k is 1, so 1 into n. So sigma n is equals to 0 to 3 x of n. So what is W power n? E power minus j. 2 pi, what is capital N? Capital N is 1. Capital N? X of, achha, N is 4. No, WN is formula we seen, we written na, W, this is the WN, e power minus J, 2 pi by capital N. Capital N in this problem is length of the sequence, 4. Okay. So now, e power minus J, pi by 2, so right? Here 2 is there, if you cancel this one, so 2 by 4 is pi by 2. So e power minus j pi by 2. So now expand the summation. And here n is there, whole power n is there, e power minus j n pi by 2. So now expand the summation. So capital X of 1 is equals to now I am substituting n is equals to 0, x of 0, x of 0, e power 0, so e power 0 is 1, so I am write, not writing. So next I am substituting x is equals to 1, n is equals to 1, I am small n is equals to 1, so e power minus j pi by 2, n if I substitute, 
e power minus j pi by 2 plus x of 2 plus x of 2 e power now I am substituting e power minus j in the place of n 2 so 2 2 get cancels e power minus j pi e power minus j pi plus x of 3 last one x of 3 e power minus j 3 by by 2 e power minus j 3 pi by 2 Okay, so now calculate. What is small x of zero? Small x of zero is one. One, and a small x of one? One. E power minus j by by two. How to write in terms of cos? E power j x is cos x plus j sin x. E power minus j pi by two is cos pi by two. I am writing just ninety degrees. Cos ninety degrees minus j sin 90 what is x of 2 value so 0 into something 0 only x of 3 0 so what is cos 90 uh, that is, uh, one. cos 90 Cos 90 is 0, sin 90 is 1. So if you substitute here, minus j will come. So 1 minus j. So x of 1 is 1 minus j. In a similar way, so calculate x of 2. So that means k is equals to 2, I am substituting. So sigma n is equals to 0 to 3 x of n. e power minus j so w n is minus j 2 pi by n n is 4 e power minus j pi by 2 and uh, n is there so e power minus and k is 2 so e power minus j n pi will come following so wn whole power kn so wn is minus j e power minus sorry e power minus j 2 pi nk by n k is 2 and capital n is 4 so this 2 into 2 4 and divided by 4 get cancelled so you will get only e power minus j n pi so expand the summation so first x of 0 e power minus something 0 is 1 so next x of 1 e raised to minus j pi e raised to minus pi minus j pi x of plus x of 2 anyway x of 2 x of 3 is 0 so I am not writing since x of 2 is 0 and x of 3 is also 0 so 0 into something whatever it is 0 only so x of 0 is 1 and x of 1 also 1 e power minus j pi so cos pi minus j sin pi cos, minus sin. cos pi minus j sin pi so sin pi is 0 cos pi how much cos pi is minus 1 so sin pi is 0 so 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 the answer is so x of 2 is 0 so last one calculate x of 3 x of 3 is equals to sigma n is equals to 0 to 3 x of n 
e power e power minus j 2 pi n k by n right so e power minus j 2 pi n k is 3 and capital N is 4 so if you cancel e power 2 divided by 4 is there so cancel it so 2 will come just expand the summation now so x of 0 anyway e power 0 is 1 next next x of 1 e power minus j 3 pi by 2 in the place of small n you are substituting 1 next anyway x of 2 and x of 3 is 0 so just writing 0 0 0 so x of 0 is how much I am writing in the above x of 3 is equals to 1 and 1 so e power minus j 3 by by 2 cos 3 by by 2 minus j sin uh, minus j sin 3 by by 2 so 3 by by 2 is 270 cos 270 how much calculate 0. and j sin to uh, sin 270 minus 1 so here minus of minus j so plus j so this one is x of 3 is 1 plus j okay this therefore what is the dft x of k for this problem the dft you write finally the answer in the signal wise the first one x of 0 is 2 next x of 1 is 1 minus j x of 2 is x of 3 is 1 plus j so that is the dft so just formula and substituting understood how to calculate the dft so in the